Hello Virgo, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your you versus them reading. And we're going to take a look at your energy and we're going to, we're going to do your cards. Let's see, I dropped some cards. We're going to do your cards on this side, Virgo. We're going to do your person's cards on this side. But be aware that your cards can be flipped. They can be reversed. You can be on this side. They can be on this side. Okay, so just be aware. So take it how it resonates. Okay, Virgo, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, and for them, we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so... And by the way, if this resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. Okay. Now for your cards, Virgo, I'm going to be using the Spellcaster Tarot. And for your persons, for I'm going to be using the Modern Witch Tarot. Okay. So let's get some energy. How does Virgo feel about this person that's on the line? How do they feel about this person? Give me a message, Spirit. How does Virgo feel about this person? The Seven of Wands. Okay. What are Virgo's intentions towards this person? What are Virgo's intentions? What are Virgo's intentions? Give me a message, Spirit. Okay. You're ready to move forward. <laughs> you want this to move fast. Okay, if you're reconciling with this person, I feel like you've been waiting for them to come back. Okay. Um, Where's this connection going? Where is this connection going? Give me a message. Where is this connection going for Virgo, Virgo and their person? Where is this connection going, please? The strength card. Okay. Hmm. At the bottom, we have the King of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of care. I feel like you may want to put in the time to really make the effort with this person. If this, if this is a new relationship, if this is something that, that you're reconciling about, or if this is a reconciliation that you're looking for, I feel like you really want to start over. You really want this to grow. Okay, there's something that you want to push past, right? Um, I, I do feel like there's a lot of things that are maybe not said. Um, you do have your doubts, okay, Virgo? Um, I do feel like you really want to see the other person's point of view, though. You do want to give them a chance because I feel like you think about this person a lot. So this may be a situation where you've had no contact with this person. This may have been, you may have thought it was over. Um, or this situation may be changing. This relationship may be changing. Okay. Um, it may be moving from a situation. I feel like there's an apology that needs to be said that may not have been said. There's some apology that wasn't received or it wasn't provided, okay? Um, because I feel like there's a lot of balance, you know? I feel like you're setting priorities, right? You've been waiting for someone to say something. You've been waiting for this person, okay? So let's take a look at their side, Virgo. Messages for Virgo's person. How do they feel about Virgo? Give me a message. How does this person feel about Virgo? Messages, please, Spirit. How do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? Okay. Yeah, they want to be honest. They want to speak their mind. They want to... They want this to start again. Actually... What I'm getting, Virgo, is they want a new beginning with some kind of interaction with you. I feel like they have said too much in a situation. 
because they're in their feelings. Okay? I feel like they care they care about you a great deal, Virgo. And I feel like they may have said too much. Their intentions are on the page of cups. So there's an offer. Okay? They want to offer you their cup. They want to offer you love. Right? Um yeah, they want a, a equal give and take. They want this to be balanced. They want it to be equal. We have the emperor on the bottom. So this person wants to be your mate. You know, they want to be your divine counterpart. They feel like they can be the one that you need, that you want. Um, they can be the one to make things work, you know. But I feel like there's something that was left unsaid, Virgo, because you're kind of on the defense. You know, you're kind of standing your ground here. But you're even though you're in doubt, you're ready to push forward. You're ready to just look at this. The Knight of Swords and the um, Strength card are all facing this way. They're all moving forward. They're all they're they're both pushing towards them, right? They're they're moving towards this energy. So I feel like you have the courage to keep moving. Okay. Even though there's something that needs to be said, you feel that this person cares about you. You feel like this person is an emperor energy. This person may be an Aries, right? Um, maybe an earth sign. Maybe another Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or uh, Taurus. But I feel like, you know, there's something... There, there's something that needs to be worked out in the situation. But I feel like you feel like this person is exactly what you need. This person is very charming, very bold, very... Um, and I feel like they're well-to-do. They may not have a lot of wealth, but I feel like they have what they need. They're able to provide very well, right? Um, this person may be a job owner. They may be an entrepreneur. They may be very good with money, but I really feel like, you know, this could definitely be an Aries that is in your energy. So let's go ahead and clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify for Virgo. Give me a message for the situation. Give me a message for the situation for Virgo. Where's this connection going? Where's this connection going? What's the outcome? Where's this connection going? Okay. The Ten of Cups. That's a good sign. The Knight, Nine of Cups. Okay. You see yourself forgiving this person. Or you see them forgiving you, right? Um, if this is a reconciliation. Yeah, we have a lot of change here. What did I say? There's something that's changing, something that's transforming. Okay. Um, yeah, the King of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of energy here. But I feel like there's there needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation as far as where this relationship is going. There's something that needs to be said. There's something that needs to get out in the open. Um, you may have to, you know, relieve something off of your chest here. And I feel like you're not going to be able to move until this is being said. Until you receive the clarity that you need, you're not going to be able to, to move forward, right? You're just not moving. Okay, so you do have new beginnings here, but there is a need to be balanced. This is the second time the Six of Pentacles have come out. So you really want something to be very equal. You want to be treated fairly. You want to be, you know, given as well as receiving, right? Or else you're just going to walk away. You're just going to move forward. You're not even going to think about this. So I feel like you're really looking for some kind of balance. You're looking for 
and an equal soulmate in the situation. Okay, so let's take a look at a conversation. What conversation does this person want to have with Virgo? What conversation does this person want to have with Virgo? What do they need to say? What is left unsaid that they need to say, please? Messages for Virgo. I hid behind material things. I feel like this person may have made it look like they had it all together. Um, or you made it look like you had it all together, Virgo. It can go both ways. But I, I really feel like these are words that they're saying to you. Okay? I feel like they're hiding behind material things to make themselves look more appealing or more well-to-do than they really are. Right? Maybe they have very expensive very expensive taste, but they don't have a very expensive budget. I feel you even though we're apart. Okay, so I feel like this person is definitely thinking about you. You're definitely on their mind. Okay, um, there's something that needs to be said. I, I really feel like there's something that they want to say to you. You speak to me through music. So I feel like this person may be listening to music and thinking about you. Um, when a certain song comes on, I feel like they can feel you. For some reason, I'm, I'm hearing Bruno Mars talking to the moon. You know, so I feel like there's, there's some heart here, right? I don't react when people mention you. So I feel like there's some things that, I, I feel like some things they're trying to keep secret. They're trying to hold to themselves until... You know, they're able to speak to you about the situation. They really don't want to get their hopes up. We will be together again. But they have these intentions that you will, that they will see you, right? I, I feel like they know that they'll see you. I'm afraid to contact you, okay? So I feel like you may have blocked this person or, you know, they're afraid to give you a text. You don't know how hard it was to let you go, okay? So I feel like there's there's something going on here, Virgo. And this person is afraid to contact you. You know, um, as far as the relationship, I feel like there's some happiness here. There's some wish contentment. Uh, there is a feeling of being fulfilled. But first, before that can happen, there could be this reconciliation. But something needs to be resolved first. Something needs to come out in the open with this Ace of Swords energy. Something needs to come out in the open um, and accepted. I feel like it needs to be revealed and accepted before you'll be able to move on. Right? Um, but this, this person definitely wants to make you some kind of offer. There may be some kind of apology. And right now you're just on the defensive. You know? You may be rushing into battle, you know? Um, so let's get some more messages for Virgo. What do we have? You already know the answer. Wow. Time to focus on you and your needs. Do you need to go through healing, Virgo? Is it you? Was your, your heart broken? Because look, we have, please forgive me. You know? What was it you? Was your heart broken, Virgo? Um, I, get, I get the sense that it may be. Someone feels so alone. We have, please forgive me again. Definitely. Okay, so we have. You are headed for a happy reunion, you know, um, but beware, this is toxic and not for you, right? Time to laugh more and get out and enjoy life. It's time to play more and laugh more, you know. Um, I think spirit is letting you know to focus on yourself at the moment. Really decide what you want to see. I see you together and I... So I, um, I seen you together, so I stepped back, you know. You may have seen this person with someone else, or they may have seen you. 
the outcome is going to be positive. Uh, you're so close to a win here, okay? And we have so alone. So someone feels so alone in this situation, but, hmm, Virgo. I really get the sense that I really get the sense that the toxicity here is coming from this person not really showing their true self, maybe kind of wearing a mask for, you know, how they really represent themselves, you know, um, you know how when you're dating someone and the first one you meet is like their best representative and then you slowly start to find out who this person really is they slowly start to reveal themselves little by little you know that's kind of the sense that i'm getting here and i feel like you are trying to see the real picture for what it is but you are very attracted to this person and you really want to see where this person goes where this situation goes okay cancer just know that you can't run into a situation and feel like if it's not right, you can change it, okay? Because you can't change a person. Only the person can change for you, right? Um, and there, there is cases where a person, you know, feels so deeply in love that they will change their ways for that one person, you know, so I'm not saying that it's not worth a try, but I'm saying that in most cases, Virgo, that um, reading a book just by its cover, you're not going to get the full outcome that you expect. Right. There may be some twists and turns. Uh, there may be a crazy plot here. OK, so, yeah, just so you're aware. Let's go ahead and get a timeline for Virgo. Let's get a timeline for Virgo. Okay, the time frame is within a few days. What? It will happen right before the summer months. Right. The summer months is June, July. So, yeah, this is just right around the corner. So, wow. Okay, for some of you, it's going to happen within a few days. For others of you, it's going to happen within about a month, you know, so about four weeks. Wow. And what we have on the bottom, are you asking from your true higher self? If so, the time frame is sooner than you think. Wow. <laughs> okay, Virgo, I feel you. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel card. Let's see what Virgo needs to know. Let's see what Virgo needs to know, please. Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. We have 911, courage. A doorway has opened for you, and while apprehension may be felt, allow courage to flow in. As you put your best foot forward, you are being encouraged to let curiosity lead you and know that the divine has your back. Okay, Allow courage to prevail as curiosity leads me through new doors. Okay, So that is your um, angel number and affirmation, Virgo. So my beautiful Virgo. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. You can take a look at your person's placements if you know those. Um, and I also upload readings every week. So you can also come back and take a look at your next reading and see if that resonates. Okay, so my lovely Virgo, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.